In today's video, I am going to show you how it's possible to make money even when you're wrong most of the time in your trade decisions. For this to happen in the correct way, we need to make sure certain risk management rules are correctly applied. In the end of the video I will also show you a few secrets that go along the ideas we are going to discuss in here. Before we jump into the mathematics that let this happen, let me point out that developing the ability to make money even when you're wrong most of the time has a tremendous impact in your trading. It means that you will have more peace of mind as a trader and you won't suffer too much psychological pressure as well. There are a few ideas we need to be comfortable with in order to understand how being wrong most of the time can make you money in the end. The first idea is the idea of risk-reward ratios. If you want to make money in the long term, you absolutely must expect to win more than you risk. That's a rather obvious reality, but many traders who are starting out in the markets miss it completely. Risk-reward ratio is the ratio between your stop-loss order and your take-profit target. For example, if you have a stop loss of 10 pips and a take profit order of 30 pips, your risk reward ratio is 1 to 3. Let's assume that you maintain this 1 to 3 ratio in a series of 100 trades. Let's also assume that you were wrong in 70% of them. Let's do the math to see what the net result of these 100 trades is. You were correct in 30% of the trades with a profit of 30 pips in each one of them, and you were wrong in 70% of the trades with a loss of 10 pips in each one of them. In summary, you produced 700 pips of loss and 900 pips of profit in the end. The result is a net profit of 200 pips. Just by maintaining your risk-reward ratio fixed in 1 to 3, you were capable of producing 200 pips of profit while being wrong 70% of the time. That's the power of risk-reward ratios and risk management. However, that's not the full picture. In order to guarantee this in a real-life scenario, you also need to guarantee your trades respect a few other principles, otherwise this mathematical structure will fall apart. In order for you to maintain the benefits of the risk-reward ratios, you will need three ideas working together. The first is the idea of good trade location. The second is the idea of risk concentration and expansion. The third is the idea of using the correct range of risk-reward ratios. Trade location basically means trading near the major and minor reversal points of the market. Without good trade location, it is impossible to maintain a healthy risk-reward ratio over time. If you think about this for a moment, you will realize that risk-reward ratios and trade location are deeply related, otherwise we wouldn't need technical analysis at all. We would be able to open random trades with a good risk-reward ratio and make money being wrong most of the time. However, if you fix a good risk-reward ratio and open a series of random trades, you will notice that you will break even. That's where trade location and technical analysis come into play. In other words, technical analysis serves the purpose of enabling you to trade nearer to the edges of the market. The second idea is risk concentration and expansion. If you want to level the playing field so to speak, you will need to concentrate or expand your risk based on the size of your stops. In real life trading, the stop sizes vary and that's something that distorts the risk reward ratios a little bit. Risk concentration and expansion is how you fix that problem. In other words, it's the clever use of leverage to finally calibrate the risks you take to make sure all trades mean the same mathematically speaking. The third idea is the use of the correct range of risk-reward ratios. At this point, you might be wondering that it is better to have the biggest risk-reward ratio as possible, but that's not exactly true. Realistically speaking, you need a risk-reward ratio that can be sustainable over time, and if you aim too high all the time, you will be disappointed. Fortunately, mathematics can help us solve that issue by showing us what the optimal risk-reward ratios are for sustainable trading in the short and long term. This is how you can make money being wrong most of the time from the risk management point of view. As you can see, it's not so simple as using a risk reward ratio higher than 1. There are a few underlying principles that are absolutely essential to hold this idea in place if you are interested in making money in the long term, which should be every trader's ultimate goal. If you want to understand how you can achieve good trade location and trade near the edges of the market and want to understand these risk management ideas more deeply, I encourage you to check out the Fractal Flow strategy in our strategy store. In this strategy, we go deeper into these good trading principles in greater detail. I hope you have learned something useful today.
If you wish to see more videos like these in the future, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to leave your feedback below the video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.